I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We had another busy week of racing with eight drivers seeing action. So let's get right to the results. Anthony Alfredo was at Watkins Glen International to take on the 2.45 mile road course where he started 31st and finished 26th after suffering a flat tire that required a green flag pit stop in stage one. Let's check in with Anthony for the full story. P26 here at Watkins Glen International in our Benz Motor Sales Ford Mustang. Definitely not what we wanted, but we uh, had to pit for a flat left for a tire, and uh, that set off our whole strategy and obviously put us off sequence and down a set of tires. So we were right there with our teammates on speed, but just lost that track position, and we're having to stay out on old tires and just try whatever we could to salvage a good day. But cars in one piece, get some... Uh, momentum rolling again and build on this for the next road course this coming weekend at Indianapolis. Up next for Anthony, Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course on August the 15th. Sheldon Creed was also at Watkins Glen International Raceway for the Camping World Truck Series United Reynolds 176 in his number two liftkitsforless.com Chevrolet. Sheldon started 19th and brought home a third place finish in a race that was called due to lightning in the area with 11 laps remaining. I would have loved to have seen that restart. Up next for Sheldon, the first race in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series playoffs at Worldwide Technology Raceway in Madison, Illinois on August 20th. Connor Mozak was back in the Pirelli Trans Am TA2 series in his number 28 Nick Taylor Camaro prepared by Scott Legacy Racing. The series ran on the streets of Nashville, Tennessee in conjunction with the IndyCar Music City Grand Prix. Connor qualified second, took the green from the front row, then raced his way to another podium, coming home in third place. Check out this celebration. <laughs> Nice. Up next for Connor, Arkham Menard Series at Michigan International Speedway on August 20th. Bryce Bizanson was at South Sound Speedway for the Northwest Super Late Model Tour 200, where he struggled with a tight car in qualifying, resulting in a 13th place starting position. But he raced his way to 8th by the halfway break. After the halfway break, Bryce slowly raced his way to six, but then suffered a broken left wheel hub, sending him into the outside wall, ending his day, being scored in 14th. Bryce remains in second in points with two races remaining. I want to give a special shout out to Bryce and Tommy Elliston for auctioning off two damaged door skins for the Friends of Jackman Foundation. The two of them got into each other a couple of weeks ago and they took an unfortunate incident and turned it into something positive. Great job, guys. Up next for Bryce, Northwest Super Late Model Series at Hermiston Raceway on September 5th. Cassidy Hines was at Colorado National Speedway in her pro truck where she qualified on the pole. That's enough for me. Let's check in with Cassidy for a post-race recap. Hi everyone, I raced my Mac Coach Wheels Pro Truck at Colorado National Speedway this weekend and we had an okay night of racing. I did end up getting quick time, which was my first quick time in the Pro Truck, so that was really cool and I'm really glad about that. And we ended up finishing third in the Fast Dash. I ended up drawing a five for the main, so I started five and I finished in P8. Unfortunately, that was not the position we were hoping to get this weekend. And we didn't have the setup for the track this weekend. It was super tight on us during the long runs. We were good on the short run, but we just didn't have anything for the long runs. We hope to be much better for August 21st. And I couldn't have done this without all of my sponsors, Frontier Restoration, Fort Worth Screen Printing, LL Acousticals, Driven Race Gear, Commit to Fitness, Friends of Jacqueline Foundation, and Race Face Brand Development, and my crew for getting the truck all set up. Up next for Cassidy, SRL Pro Late Models at Stockton Speedway on August 14th. 
Jake Bowman made his debut at Irwindale Speedway for twin 35 lap features in the number 54 Nate Clower Motorsports Pro Late Model. Jake qualified six and came home in fourth in the first feature and then duplicated those results in the second feature. Jake raced at Charlotte Motor Speedway on Tuesday night in the last two rounds of the summer shootout, bringing home a fourth place finish in both events. Up next for Jake, SRL Pro Late Models at Stockton Speedway on August 14th. Carter Whalen competed in the fifth leg of the Dixie Shootout Series at North Carolina Quarter Midget Association, where drivers got very little practice time on the track due to rain. Carter ran three different classes. He finished sixth in Heavy Honda, fifth in Heavy World Formula, in a rain-shortened race, and fourth in Heavy 160. Up next for Carter, USAC National Quarter Midget Championships at Daytona International Speedway on August 25th. Landon Cox also competed in round five of the Dixie Shootout Series at North Carolina Quarter Midget Association, where he finished on the podium in second for the Blue Rookie class. Up next for Landon, USAC National Quarter Midget Championship at Daytona International Speedway on August 25th. Other drivers seeing action this weekend include Brody Moore, who will return to his super late model at Colorado National Speedway on August 14th, and Cole Denton will be at Chris Motorsports Park on August 14th, going for his 10th win of the season. Well, that's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out the Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. And as always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.